Hey guys, so I'm back again with some more cats I showed you, and yeah, I'm starting to record a few more episodes since one accidentally went out a bit too early, so here we go. What was the last thing that happened? I forgot, let's see if we can catch up, so yeah. Still we finished a few minutes earlier than anyone else in the class, despite our late start. Shizu and Misha are really capable. They're quite different though. The class rep is as calm and professional as she looks. While Misha is a lot more playful and girlish, not to mention a little more distracted. Also, I think that was the pink-haired one. To be honest, the two of them did most of the work. I feel guilty about that. <laughs> Reminds me of college. The clock tower bell rings, bells ring, signalling the end of the period. Time for lunch. Oh, do I get to meet people at the lunch room? Oh, that's creepy. Without knowing what else to do, I follow Misha, who who's beckoning me into the hallway and down the stairs. They are not stairs. That is a slope. We descend even below the lobby where I met Muto down the bottom floor. That was the teacher, if I remember. Just like everyone, just like everything in the school, the cafeteria seems too spacious and oddly modern in contrast to the classic exterior. Its big windows open to the courtyard towards the main gates. It's the cafeteria! Oh, she's so peppy, I like her. Her enthusiastic statement of the obvious makes people around us stare. But Misha doesn't seem to care, so we proceed to the line. There is a rather long list of menu options, which seems great until I realise that many of them are to accommodate students who need special diets. Aww. How nice. It almost feels like I'm back at the hospital. Eating portions measured with scientific precision to meet the needs of the patient. <laughs> you shouldn't complain about that, that's good for you. <laughs> Not enough people eat healthy. I pick something at random and follow Shizune to the table, sitting opposite of her. Oh, is these two... As I nibble indifferently at the food I'd rather not eat, Misha pokes me in the side to get my attention and points at Shizune. I don't understand signs, so the point escapes me. Maybe looking at the person who talks to you proper is... Oh, to you is proper and polite. I am terrible today. Do you want to know something? What? About anything. We're your guide, so should you ask if there is something? So you should ask if there is something. Hmm, oh, I got a choice of saying things. Okay, hmm, I wonder. That's what Shizuna is. Should I ask? Is that rude? I'm gonna ask about the library. Oh, yeah, is there a library in the school? Lately, I've gotten into reading a lot, so I'd rather check it out. Misha gives you the kind of frown that makes it clear she doesn't consider reading a healthy hobby, but then picks up a smile again. There is! It's in the second floor. We can show you some time. Thanks! <laughs> I return to my food while the girls talk between themselves. Misha and Shizune sign back and forth very an animately, throwing away glances, uh, uh, throwing, throwing sideways glances at me. But Misha refrains from translating. Maybe they're talking about secret girl stuff or something. Oh, they're gossiping in sign language. I quickly notice the conversation in sign is not enough to fill the silence. Oh, do I have something? Oh, we arrive in the classroom early, but we're not the first. Oh, it's her. It's another girl. That dark-haired girl I noticed before is slumped over a desk at the last row. Oh, she's the one that's burnt. Oh. She jumps a little when Misha crashes into the room with an elegant, with the elegance of a rhino. Ha! <laughs> I like that metaphor. She shrinks deeper into her seat. I can feel a tension all the way from here, as if she was slowly turning into stone from our presence. Misha and Shizuna either don't notice or don't mind it, as they walk directly past her to their seats and begin to converse. Oh, come back! She's precious. I'm left wondering about her, even when the classroom slowly fills with other students and finally the teacher. Getting into the rhythm of school feels strange. It's as if my brain remembers how this is done, but my body doesn't. Towards the end of the class, I start yawning and counting the minutes left. 
Oh, that's too relatable. I shouldn't be this tired on my first day of school. Maybe it's the long time I spent in the hospital that made me like this. I'm even feeling physically weak and lifeless. Oh, that might be his condition. Before long, the final bell rings. School is finally over for the day. Beside me, Misha and Shizuna are having a short conversation. After a bit of deliberation, Misha turns to me. Ooh, here we go, more conversation time. Dot, dot, dot. Unfortunately, we can't... Oh, oh sir. Unfortunately, we can't stay to show you around today. He chan We've got to hurry already, since there's a lot of work for us to do. Oh. You'll find your way around, I'm sure of it. You're supposed to be my guides, that's lazy. Uh, wait, the teacher said I'd have to see the nurse. Where do I have to go? Is that so? We can only show you that much. Watch the gonna Like, everyone is hot. Even, like, burn victims. Hot. I bet the nurse is gonna be, like, super hot. Come on, the nurse... Nurses have their own building, so we have to go outside. We join the flow of students making their way down the stairwell and outside with the girls, pointing out the senior classrooms in all the hall, in the same hallway as ours. When we get outside, the girls make their way to the smaller building right next to the school. It's built in the same style, so it looks like it's actually a part of the main building. Dot, dot, dot. This is the auxiliary building here. There's a lot of official and important stuff inside, like Yamako Foundation Office, and all the nurses' offices. They even have a swimming pool. Oh, I love swimming. How is that official? Dot, dot, dot. Don't be silly, Hichan. It's for physical therapy, of course. Oh, that actually kind of makes sense. Anyway, all the nursing staff facilities are in there too. The, the head nurse's office is on the first floor. You'll be fine from here, right? We'll be going then. See you tomorrow. Or Yeah, thanks. Bye. A whole building for stuff that has nothing to do with actual education? I guess it's necessary for a place like this. I walk in hoping that this really will be a one only <laughs> only a quick visit like the teacher said. This place looks like so old. It reminds me of Hmm, it looks familiar. Anyway, on the white wall on the left is a green cross which is which with the text head nurse and a nameplate. A voice from inside responds to my knock almost immediately, but I can't quite make it out. It sounded like a bit of an invitation to open the door, so I invite myself further in. The room is not large and smells strange. A friendly looking man turns around on his office chair to make... To make oh, it's a man! Oh, that's interesting. A guy ducked in a school full of loads of hot girls. His desk is neat and tidy, but the bin under the table is overflowing with used medical utensils and there are at least a dozen coffee cup rings lingering on the desk. Oh, even he's hot. How is he so young and yet a doctor? You have to go through like 15 billion eons of like medical school and $500,000 of medical practice and he's just there like, yeah, I'm a smiling man. Hello there, what can I do for you today? He's a young looking and sort of rugged, but the dimples on his cheeks wash that impression away when he smiles. I don't see a dimple, you lie. Um, are you the nurse? He smiles like a person who has heard this very same question hundreds of times. I just thought, yeah, nurses don't have to go through all that. That's doctors I'm thinking about. Well, yes, I am. It says it's on the door, no? You can call me by my name, or just the nurse like everyone does. Of course, I shake off my confusion, realizing I probably should grab his, ex and his extended hand. Of course I shake off my Oh it's the same. Of course I shake off my confusion, realizing I probably should grab his extended hand. His handshake is rather firm and friendly. Right, uh I'm a new student and my homeroom teacher told me to come and meet you. My name is I can't get it. Misao Nakai. His eyes light up with revelation and he snaps his fingers. Oh that's what that noise was. Oh you're that Nakai! I was just reading a file in the morning. Is he winking at me? Excuse me, sir. I do not take to your... Blurting. 
some kind of chromarrhythmia and related congre... Oh, don't do this, Dr. Talk. Congenital... Congenital... <laughs> heart muscle deficiency, right? He gestures me to sit down on a vacant armchair in front of his desk. Uh, yes. Good, well, you've probably been briefed about the school enough, so I'll just go over this quickly. We have all kinds of facilities available, mostly physical therapy and such. There's always someone from my staff around, even at night, so don't hesitate to call us if there is a problem. A famous 24-hour nursing staff. Wow, this is like a hospital. Well, not exactly. For instance, we don't do brain surgery here. You sass pot. His joke feels so out of place that I'm feeling that I'm thinking why he even said it. Yeah, I caught you out. Yeah, just that it's weird to have so many medical people at a school. You'll get used to it. I'm not so sure, sure that I'm not so sure, sure of that myself, but I don't let the nurse know it. I was gonna say that's the most least reassuring thing to say. Ah, you'll be fine. Now let me just find your file again. While he searches for something from his computer and shuffles stacks of papers around, I let my gaze wander around the room. But yeah, I'll end, I'll end this episode here. Thanks for watching and to find out what I was looking at, I don't know, you're going to have to watch the next one.